Good evening. Welcome to Hold No Bars once again. It's Friday evening and we are running a bit late. Now that we are a bit late, I will talk a little less and have you conduct the program. Well, the big day arrived today, the other big day. Let me put up the take your volume down sign. Yes. Today was another big day at the Caribbean Court of Justice. And basically, we had two sets of submissions from the opposition and the government to the CCJ. The CCJ basically said, look, I'm awarding costs to the persons who brought the appeal. And in the end, you have to abide by the Constitution. They can't go outside the Constitution and dictate politics to the politicians of, and the leaders of the country. And one of the words which uh, Justice Saunders used was, I cannot gloss over the Constitution. So tonight, the end of this big saga, some people call it, big event and epic. So the end has come. Today it was the final pun. I was about to go Spanish, full stop, at the end of it and now it's to the conscience of those who are in charge. So tonight I'm opening the phones, the lines right now to you so that you can give your views on where we go from here. Where we go from here. So we tuned in. Today at 2 p.m. we heard the final, final pronouncement by the Caribbean Court of Justice. And we now have to move forward. The government has been in a caretaker mode and from my layman understanding of the constitution it's the caretaker period should have been from the 21st of December to around the 21st of March or the 20th of March because this constitution says three months you must hold elections within three months and how you, you calculate the three months, some persons say 90 days. I don't know how they arrive at 90 days because um, three months for me would have run from the 21st of December to the 20th of January. From the 21st of January to the 20th of February and from the 21st of February to the 20th of March. So that's my three months. I don't know how we can add up 90 days because months have different um, length of days, 30, 28, 29, and leap year, and 31. So we have that rule, and the lines are ready to go. Hi, good evening, hold no bars. Sorry, I didn't recognize the call. So the numbers are on your screen, the lines are open. When's fourth? Where we go from here? That's the proposition for today. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening, Mr. Aria. Good evening. This, good, this government has no conscience. Okay. And this is a big face government. Mm -hmm. Everything is easy. Jason, them telling the Chinese nation something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the opposition leader need to do something to get them out of office. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. So the first caller says, no conscience by the government and opposition leader needs to do something to get them out. Well, the opposition could, leader could only stay within the constitution and secondly, he has to get the support of the people of Guyana. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. Go ahead. You gotta load your TV, you know. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead now. Yeah, this is crime rate. The time was crime rate higher right now. Crime rate. This time I get a rubber TV. Uh huh. And I can't do the TV man or nothing. Can I move right? Mm hmm. 
God bless you. Okay, Paul. Thanks a lot. Good. So this call are very concerned about the crime rate in the country. We did have a few programs that crime dominated. So tonight, tonight is going to be your night. The final, final pronouncement by the CCJ was today. And that's the end of this matter with respect to the no confidence motion and the matter of GCOM chairman. So the GCOM chairman issue will revert to the constitution where the leader of the opposition has to put up six names not unacceptable to the president. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Um, Coach, I want to call it a uh, um, show about the crime, crime wave. Go ahead. The crime wave, uh, at least it's it gone a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Go way back. Right. The crime wave, because what? Simply, uh, just a couple of days ago, that murder, when his money changed his life. Uh -huh. Him already up in the five portions. Mm -hmm. But you should mention that the crime wave was way over. Mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. It wasn't talking negative things. Mm -hmm. It must be on the on the right track. Okay. You can't want the police to do more than what they're doing. They're doing an excellent job in, right now. Mm -hmm. Some people think they shouldn't talk, man. Don't talk to Bobby Bias. Mm -hmm. He could punch us. What are all the ones before talk about country? Mm -hmm. See, he doesn't want the car. They the car, they are kind both sides. Mm -hmm. Don't watch it one side, man. Okay. This is not wasting a time. No, no, nobody didn't bring race. No. Not a soul didn't bring no, race. No, no, no. Right? Yeah. You were the first person to introduce no, race. Why he can't use those words? So tell me. No, no, but tell me why he can't use those words. They got freedom of speech in this country. You have a freedom of speech too. So he is, he is in his right, his basic human right. How long? Uh huh. Two is the how long? This reason is about this country. We still want, we move in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he didn't introduce race. You know, you you are this caller is introduced. Nobody didn't talk about race. One person called and said these people got no conscience, and the other person called and said he won't talk about the crime rate, not wave the crime rate, and the crime rate is too high. Good. So let us keep it that way. If you want to bring race in, I have no problems whatsoever, but don't accuse people who didn't bring it up in the first place, right? And a person, there are, there, in fact, I learned five basic human fundamental rights. Freedom of association, freedom of expression, freedom of thought, conscience, you know. So we have some basic human rights and it's a person right to speak up. In fact, these rights have been so tested in what is seen as the most vibrant democracy in the world, the American democracy. So if I use an F word or an S word in America, it's a freedom of expression, right? Freedom of expression. But we still are going by some old archaic British impositions which still exist in our law books. And I don't know WTF is bad. Good. So let's keep it. If people will bring race up, fine. The discussion tonight will go race. I don't have a problem with it. I'll give each person a fair opportunity to express his or her views, but I wouldn't have the cross talk, right? Okay, so the lines are open. The What's Up is giving a little challenge. Let me just see if it's back on. Make sure your computer has an active internet. My computer does have an active internet, it says. and um, But I still have the What's Up on my telephone. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hold no bars. You got to turn the TV down. Hello? 
Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello? Yes, you're on the air. You ought to be your face at a pit. Okay, so that LC person, that's the initials of the person, was about to use an expletive, expletive which the broadcast authority don't allow. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good evening. Go ahead. Oh, Mr. Jack, you're going to lock out the body for showing him middle finger. Is that, is that freedom of expression? Am I the expressing in terms of? We lock up which boy? Remember when he was president, remember? Uh -huh. Somebody just showed him middle finger and he said, we lock out the body for I know um, he lock up the boy, but if he lock up the boy for showing a middle finger, he wrong. Okay? Okay, okay, good night. Good. Right. So, yes, I can show a thumb, thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't know what the middle is, right? Uh, so, what happens? Finger language, sign language. But if people get locked up for showing a finger, I think it's wrong. I don't know if Mr. Jack Deer ordered him to be locked up. Hi, go ha good evening. Good evening, Mr. Nanzo. Good evening. That woman called you and tell you you're in a bitch. I, I didn't hear the words she said. I cut you off. You're the biggest bitch. Nah, we can't encourage the right? Remember I said earlier? We can't encourage the right? Hi, good evening. Okay, that person had the television too high. Okay, nice, nice evening tonight for some good aggressive exchanges. But let's talk a bit what happens now. What happens now? And um, they will have to be dialogue, engagement, and they, this thing can't run f like this forever. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, hello, good evening. Mr. Good evening. Um, to Go ahead. Hello? I'm listening and the audience listening too. Okay, um this government, um the uh, the former government and uh, the um the mm -hmm. government mm -hmm. right so they all they have to be back into power. Mm -hmm. But the thing they should have they before they they all the fighting and things. Look at some of the mistakes they made at the last when they were in government, mm -hmm. you were part of it, right? And you made, and you personally made a lot of mistakes too, Good. as yourself. And um, they should look at it. Um, we must not get get away from it. There were a lot of corruption, mm -hmm. and they need. It was to get to the ministers. Like for you, I, I was trying to get to you, and when you were minister of labor, mm -hmm. and it was it was easier to meet God than that meet you. And these are some of the things you all didn't know. When you all were in government, mm -hmm. it was, you all couldn't be a meeting ordinary people. Okay. And that's one of the, one of the reasons why people get frustrated with you all. Uh -huh. And um, same thing goes to all, all the ministers. Mm -hmm. When they become, when they, when they, all of now, they're easy, to, like you, it's easy to get to you and to other, other, for what they are, they want to say the people. You can go meet them anytime. Mm -hmm. But when they be going to power, it's like they just uh, the uh, power uh, mm -hmm. just get to their head and mm -hmm. they're above everything. Right. So that is one thing you need to you need to work on. Yeah. If there's um, don't don't forget because remember the order people put put you in and the order people took you all out at the last. Um, exactly. Last exactly. Year. Right. And so remember one thing: mm -hmm. everybody is one vote for one person. And when you spend a lot of time with, when you spend on your things on your family and friends, there's just a few mm -hmm. votes because the ordinary people are the ones who would become the majority of the vote. Mm -hmm. And that's one. The, I think that's one the reason why you all fail in the last last thing because mm -hmm. for sake the ordinary people. Mm -hmm. And I think we need to look at that. Going into it, going into the coming well, the election will be held sometime before the end of the year. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the things you need to work on. And uh, don't be, you're, you're, I think you all made a lot of mistakes. Right. And to me, one of the biggest mistakes of uh, the PPP government. I'm not, I'm just, it's positive criticism. 
I'm making is the scale and sugar estate. That was a white elephant to always the money on. Mm -hmm. And up to this day, it, it, it was wasted. It mm -hmm. was wasted money. And that money, people got to pay back by um, citizens of this country. Or mm -hmm. there is citizens like me and you got to still pay back for that thing. Mm -hmm. But I think that, that was poor judgment on, on by Jack to you. Mm -hmm. Poor, poor judgment. I think uh, sometimes as others, when I even look at it, you see, it's, it's, it's so good that he cannot go back in power because of that. It was the largest mistake, biggest mistake that this, this uh, the power government ever made. Mm -hmm. So, and these things you all need to work at and some things if you want to go back in power. Mm -hmm. But just don't feel that when you go back to power, everything will be okay. Mm -hmm. Because you might end up being, if you don't perform, the next election you go on again. Mm -hmm. So that's what I just want to say. Thanks a lot, but the, op the, 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 I think the bottom line is that people had an opportunity to express their views via uh, free and fair elections and through the ballot. Right? So I think the bottom line is we were able to deliver that. Thank you. Hi. So we accept the criticisms and that is why we ended up in opposition. You know, we may have in the past the 20 odd years done bad things. I do I wouldn't say no, but we got booted out. Hi, I good evening. Correct the scenario. Yes, go ahead. Quite well. And yourself? Care, care for those singers, right? Which ones? Uh, <laughs> all right, let me get them. Go ahead. Uh, you know, the last meeting I had between the opposition party members and the government party members, mm -hmm. uh, they didn't come to no agreement like in the meeting of itself in the building. Mm -hmm. But I noticed when they came out of the building, mm -hmm. they got a lot of clarity outside mm -hmm. when they were in with, with, the interview, with the reporters interviewing them. Mm -hmm. So to me, they made more progress outside. Mm -hmm the building and inside the building. Okay. So I got a recommendation for them. Next Go ahead. time when they have the meeting in the building, they could in invite the reporters into the building. Mm -hmm. And I think they would go they might get more pro pro uh, productive results. Great. And this is my first point. Uh, the second point. This country uh, it seems like political superiority and racial dominance. Mm -hmm is paramount mm -hmm. with the political people, with the political politicians mm -hmm. and the people. Mm -hmm. Now we have a trillion barrels of oil. Mm -hmm. Right? I agree with you. It's and not a billion. Not I agree with you. Are not in, no, no give it no priorities. They all are just fighting for political superiority okay. and racial dominance. And the people are also like, they don't care about this wealth. Go ahead. They just want to be this one in, in, in government and this one want to be in government and the people them carry on in that same matter. Anyway, I got a third point. Go ahead. This 200,000 disenfranchised votes mm -hmm. are in correct entries, mm -hmm. I should say. Well, I don't know. No, no, this, this is what the, the, the president was claiming, right? No, hold on, hold on. Let me just use the correct word. He said 200,000 transactions. Transactions. I, I heard incorrect entries. Anyway, if they are going to eliminate three two hundred thousand or correct two hundred thousand entries, mm -hmm. and they are claiming that they have they already have a winning list, mm -hmm. and they know how many seats they are going to win by. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that they already have a list prepared, mm -hmm. and they, they just need a mechanism to install it or input it into the GCOM system? Well, your guess is and as good as mine. Let me finish. No, I can't, but it's, it's speculation which is as good as mine. Huh? But no, no, let me speculate. Let me speculate. Okay, go ahead. Speculate. It's freedom of speech is yours, right? Right. Is it possible that a mechanism to put that to, to this enfranchise 200,000 voters, mm -hmm. the mechanism is house, house registration, that they could use a house, house registration to, to disqualify the current list mm -hmm. and implement a list into the database of GCOM mm -hmm. by of house, house registration, mm -hmm. correct? I 
Just Three good points. Very good, good points. Um, I like the second one. And the I have a, a photo, sorry. Okay. Uh, this jagdiophobia, I want to create a word. Uh -huh. Does it justify jagdiophobia, meaning a terrible fear of jagdio? Right. Does it justify disenfranchising people and delaying it election? Are there, are there voters or are the PNC voters alone have the right to, to delay election and dis disqualify the election till when they're ready to mm -hmm. have it? What happened to the rest of the voters? What happened to the, let me say they got 49% of the voters, what mm -hmm. happened to the 51%? Mm -hmm. Is that not a majority? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll talk to that. Great. Okay, let me get through to um, of the WhatsApp messages. The first one saying, I'm very worried about the total disregard for our constitution. The next, this whole scenario is shameful. Taxpayers' money wasted for CCJ judges to tell us what our constitution is clear. Where are we going? And the other person who I think I have an idea who that person is, says, good evening, sir. I may have misunderstood what you say, but is it right to use expletives in public under the cloak of freedom of expression? My apology if I didn't hear you right, Mr. Nadir. Good night. Right? So those were the two what's up messages that was what's up and we said, you know, what's up messages that came through. The lines are open again uh, for you to have your full say tonight on all no bars. So you Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good evening, sir. How are you? Good evening. I want to know if this, this government is illegal or illegal right now. Well, the ruling of the court is caretaker, um, and so even that is open to some interpretation. I can give you my view, but remember, I'm not a judge. I'm not a lawyer. I used to be a lawmaker, however. I know, I know, I know you too well. So, okay. <laughs> So, um, I, I think a lot of persons will... Thank you. But I think a lot of persons will say um, illegal at this stage because for me, the legal period ran out on the 21st of March. Good? Thanks. Okay. So, um, that's my view. You could have a counter view, a different view. But that's my view. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello. Good evening. Go ahead. Yes. You want to be about everybody in the politics. Being the... Mm-hmm. Just to talk to you, everybody. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's true in it, I'll say. It's just no true in it. So I'm really no good way now. Well, it's basically we talk a little bit about the Caribbean court saying, hey, Guyana, follow your constitution and do the right thing. And then persons threw in a couple of other things like all you politicians, including you, Mr. Nadir, done bad in the past. And some people say, well, this is all about race. So you can have your say. Okay, just wish the board for us. You good luck. Mm -hmm. And better men for the country. Great. Great, G. All the best. Have a good night. Okay, so that caller brought some soberness back to the conversation tonight and our lines are open. The calls are coming in fast and furious, except I'm not getting the WhatsApp messages on the computer. Somehow, I'm not tuning into the Wi-Fi, but I'm getting them on the, I'm getting them on the telephone. Good, so tonight, um, where do we go from here? And what are your views forward for our country? Those are the couple of issues that have emerged as we move towards the 11 o'clock hour on hold no bars. The lines are open. And remember, I don't take callers twice. If I perceive you're going to be abusive and um, using language that is not acceptable by the broadcast authority, you'll get cut off, right? 
And um, let's take this call. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening, Mr. Nancil, again. No, 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 you can't come back again. Sorry, I didn't check. I didn't check the name that popped up. I just saw the light blinking. I can't take you again, right? So let's give other people a chance. Um, if you want to call and you've got 15 items you want to put on the table, do so. But uh, when you get your chance, lay it out. As we say, hold no bars, say it out, right? But I'm not going to take you two and three times. Okay. Not a caller on this cell phone. Hi, good evening. Go ahead. You're on the, on the air. Okay. Call but not ready to talk. Good. So we're back with all the lines free and tonight being an open program, but I kicked it off with the issue of the CCJ. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Yeah, good evening, Monsieur. Go ahead. How are you? Quite well. And yourself? Very well, good. Great. The CCJ has ruled today. Mm -hmm. And uh, my little common sense understanding when I look at the Constitution mm -hmm. and what they have said is that there is a window mm -hmm. to provide for an extension of the time mm -hmm. for Chicum to get themselves prepared for elections. Right. Now, that is part of the law as well as the Constitution say. No, but I think I heard the leader of the opposition today say mm -hmm. that he is not there. I don't know if it's him or the PPP is not mm -hmm. prepared to go beyond the three month period. Mm -hmm. I think and that is not a very strong position mm -hmm. based on what was outlined by the CCG. I think early on mm -hmm. they had I suggested a consensual approach in terms of the dreams mm -hmm. for the Chico chair. Mm -hmm. And that exercise started, but mm -hmm. I completed. So the envoys had to return back to the president and the leader of the opposition. Right. Now, my point is, who are the people, let that issue that needs common sense and matured thinking. Mm -hmm. As far as I am aware, the current list mm -hmm. that they have with expiring people has in excess of 600,000 um, what is it, vote, forces to vote. Mm -hmm. You also have, you also have 740,000 plus persons. Mm -hmm. Now you are a numbers man. Mm -hmm. I know it, and it is impossible. Mm -hmm. We used to have an electoral list of 600 plus, mm -hmm. thousand plus persons, and a population of just 748,000. That is an impossibility. So it is clear from common sense that the list is faulty. Mm -hmm. And the only way I heard different arguments of uh, what, what is called um, appeared for. Um, Claims and objection. Mm -hmm. Claims and objection has specific things that they address. Mm -hmm. And there's no way claims and objection can sanitize a list mm -hmm. that volume of inaccuracy. Mm -hmm. The only possible thing common sense would tell you that is household registration mm -hmm. to verify to make sure that you have the right numbers. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll ask you to stay online when you're finished to hear me for just two minutes, but you continue. No, I, 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 I'm saying to you, mm -hmm. these are some of the irritating mm -hmm. public kind of pronouncement that I listen to the leader of the opposition. And I, mm -hmm. I, am, I am suspicious that the leader of the opposition kind of disposition mm -hmm. in relation to addressing these issues that are very critical to the people of this country. Mm -hmm will cause him because uh, he, I think the persons in the, they are much more sensible and rational persons in that party. Mm -hmm. And they are allowing Jack Lou to masquerade and keep talking a set of foolishness. Mm -hmm. uh, as though he is the be all and end all of all knowledge mm -hmm. in this country. And I know within that party structure, 
you have sensible people there mm -hmm. that are prepared to exercise good judgment and reason mm -hmm. in relation to the issues that face this nation. Okay, I want to I want to just address a couple of the um, positions you've stated because I think you are arriving at them out of lack of full information. Number one, the yeah. 600,000 names, right, mm -hmm. on the list. The 600,000 names that have emerged on the list includes perhaps about 15 to 20,000 persons who you have... The word you use it, perhaps. Yes. You can't go in an election with uncertainty. No, yes. hold on, hold on. But yes. Okay, go ahead. That, that those are the dead people which we can clean, which we can clean by a simple desk exercise, right? The persons who have registered, the person who have registered and may have migrated temporarily, and we do have a very mobile population, right? Temporarily. You can't take them off. The third, the third, no, I, I didn't. Mr. Man, Mr. I think you, I know exactly what you think. No, 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 but hold on, hold on. That is a position you can't take, but the law still. No, 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 you don't know the law better than me. You don't know the law better than me. Really? Right? There, there, yes, there is no provision in the law for house to house registration. There is provision in the law for a next round of registration. Right? So we've had 11 or 12 registration exercises. It happens yes, every six months. Exactly. That's what the law provides for. Mm -hmm. Not only a claims and objections. So you have a preliminary list that comes out. But listen, listen to me. Hear what I'm saying. No, no, you listen. I listen to you. Oh, right? So you have to give me the courtesy. I ask for two minutes. Mm -hmm. So the law. I get more. No, no, I don't want more. <laughs> the law provides for a preliminary list to come out, then a registration, continuous registration period, it's closed, and a new list is published. And with that new list, you get a claims and objections period. People get a chance to verify. So all the parties can take the list and go and find out all the people who are phantom. That's the no, job of the political but, parties. But, but, but the point I'm making to you, mm -hmm. no, we, the, Election Ghana Commission, mm -hmm. former chairman, mm -hmm. and the commissioners mm -hmm. agreed. Mm -hmm. But policy yes. can't yes. trump yes. law, right? Yes. So let us get somebody else to give an exercise. We're not both. We're both not going to move from our positions. So let's give another person a chance to come in tonight because we only have about twenty minutes remaining on the program. So, but I want to thank you for calling in that sober tone. Yes. Hi, good evening. You're on hey, the Pastor, air. Not too bad. I agree with most of the last call said just now. Great, not a problem. Number two. Uh -huh. I understand that we have a, we are cooperative for people who we have a constitution. We have to act within the constitution. Right. And if the constitution says that um, X, we gotta go by X. Mm -hmm. Right? Concern is what they are going on. Oh yes, um, Forget I'll take the call back. I have your name, right? Good, thanks. Okay, so um, so let me just clear some of the what's up messages. This person, oh, a call was coming through. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. You, go ahead. You're on the air. No, as far as I could see. The no confidence uh, case. Mm -hmm. You see, at, at the case that they are, I mean, the transfer of the president to carry the chairman to this unit. They are dealing with a very real rate, and then the people are on the term, and then the normal election for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because it's just a waste. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not a waste because uh, because you have you have certain other provisions in the constitutions that will kick in, right? So, let's see where it goes from there. Hi, good evening, you're on the air. Go ahead, go ahead. No, you, your volume too loud. But let me read some of the call, some of the messages. 
Good night, Mr. Nadir. I would like to hear your ideas on what will or should happen after September the 17th when the administration don't hold elections. Well, what Mr. Jagdeo said in his submission to the CCJ is, look, I'm prepared to deal with three months from the time the CCJ did its ruling on June the 18th, right? But the Constitution, in my view, says that from the 21st of December 2018 to March the 20th, that was the three months. Because the Constitution says within three months of the no confidence vote, you must call elections, right? So as far as I'm concerned, the government has gone on some borrowed time. Should we just sit down and wait on the administration to play games? Well, a lot of persons can have answers in that. And then, good night, Mr. Nadir. Just imagine these people don't want to call elections. And then talking about budget and raise of pay in 2020. When they win election, these people are so right. I don't want to use the word there. And to clear them a good night. Bro, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. And another one, President Jack Liu is too patient. Good. So I see a couple of callers are coming through who had a bite of the cherry before. And unless we run out of callers in the next 18 minutes, then I'll come back to you. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Okay, so the rule is... I guess most of us can read. Guyana has a literacy rate of over 95%. And because of smartphones, everybody knows to text. And in order to text, you got to know to read. So I think smartphones made everybody smarter. So this sign is quite clear. If you can't see it, I can read it again. And it says, please turn and an arrow down, right? So I put the sign plus the word down. Your TV's volume, thank you. If, right, so if you don't turn down the TV, I will turn you off. Hi, good evening, you're on the air. Good night. Good evening. I feel, I feel with all the laws and laws of the country, uh -huh. I feel that what is it, fire? As a little bit, fire that has been really done by a government. Mm -hmm. Of Guyana, I don't see what is it for you to be put away. Because you were you there, you would not give a child an expired product. Mm -hmm. Right? You would not give a child an expired product. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we should still be based upon the rates and the rates and the rates. Mm -hmm. I think we should just go ahead, do the right thing, and let the election come on. Thank you. Okay, the fact that um, the list has expired, the law of the country has prescribed continuous registration as the process for renewing the life of the list, right? Continuous registration. Hi, good evening, you're on the air. Hold no bars. Good evening, on the air, sorry. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Yes, good um, evening. I just call in to hear my contribution. Please do. I just want to tell both the APNU and the PPP, both two of them need to get to God in prayer. Mm -hmm. And when they get to God in prayer, stop picking up biting and especially the PPP just something like it's being power and talking with share power and power. Go to God in prayer and then both two of them either collate or nothing would work for nobody in this country. That is my country. Thank you. We need to go to God in prayer. Amen. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Yes, good night. Good evening. The, the call called just now and said, would the list expire? Mm -hmm. This government expire a very long time. Mm -hmm. This is my contribution. Thank you. Okay, so let me just clear a few more messages that are on the WhatsApp. Right? Okay, APNU will delay the election until next year and nobody can force them. They just bare face, don't matter what sanctions the world takes. 
on them. They don't care. They just hungry for power. Good. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. Good evening. I want to contribute to your program, but um, please do. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying this now that this nah, let me say, Mister Mister Tagio mm -hmm. is castigating this government. Mm -hmm. Like, and he is not being castigated. No, I, I'm coming to that. Though. Okay, good. That like like they have to come out of office right now mm -hmm. and. Let me ask one question. Who would take care of this country? No, Mr. Jagdeo is saying hold elections. He didn't say come out. Elections cannot be held and keep. Don't tell any people that the government got to, the president got to call elections. Mr. Jagdeo himself says, Jacob is the sole, mm -hmm. the sole responsibility. You're absolutely wrong, right? I wouldn't allow you to misinterpret what uh, President Jack Dio has said. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hello. Go ahead. You're on the air. Hello. You're on the air. Okay, so partly he's not hearing. Good. We have about 13 minutes remaining and the program has been going great um, this evening. I saw um, a caller whose name I recognized before. I can't take you. And the other one is just about to ring. Let me just see what the and that's another call of it. Um, who had a chance? A bite at the cherry, as they would say. Messages. Good night, Manzu. Congrats to the PPP. All the best. Right? So, thank you very much. Um, so, we are all clear. We have a, a caller with the name of WA who was early on. I wouldn't take that call. But we have a new caller on this cell phone. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Good evening. Go ahead. Okay. So he made his point. He says when I want when the people want to talk something against the PVP, I cut them off. But if you're going to repeat yourself after you make your point, then we have to give a chance to people to come through, other people to come through, right? Good. Uh, and that's the bottom line that the, the program policy. You get one chance, say what you want to say, and leave the lights open for other people to make a contribution, right? And if you repeat, I don't have a problem if you have 10 points to make and all critical of me, go ahead and say it. But if you start repeating them, I don't think people are that, um, as they say, lack of understanding. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Go ahead. You're on the air. Yes, you're on the air. Okay. The, fault, the, the problem there is wanting to listen to yourself on the television and talk at the same time, it wouldn't work, right? It's like you can't eat and talk at the same time, or drink water and talk at the same time. You could probably eat and try it, but the drinking water would do something to you. Great, so another very historic day for our country, and it ends this epic issue of the validity of the vote, no confidence vote held on December the 21st, 2018. And the Caribbean Court of Justice has made its uh, pronouncements today. Costs were awarded to the persons who came up against the government. And then we had a confirmation of the fact that the GCOM chairman was not legally appointed, or the appointment didn't follow the process that sh was set up, right? But that's the end of it, and there is going to be now a need for leadership, statesmanship, democratic behavior, and respect for rule of law. Right? So that's the bottom line 
which I have. Good night, Mr. Nadir. I am still of the opinion that Granger is not going to adhere to the ruling based on his address today. Seeing GCOM is a constitutional body, GCOM has to comply with the Constitution and not Mr. Granger. Thank you very much for that view. Hi, good evening. This is a new caller. Go ahead. Mr. Nadir, good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I can't complain. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just listening to all these people who are blaming President Jagbe, who is not the one who is doing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. President Granger is the one who is not adhering to mm -hmm. the law. Yet, everybody is blaming President Jagbe. I don't understand it. And when things doesn't go some people way, they cry racism. They mm -hmm. need to get past that. Mm -hmm. Now, the power is in the people's hand now that the, co the court has ruled. Mm -hmm. It's in the people's hand to do what needs to be done. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. You have a good... You too. Okay, back to the messages as we wind down to the last seven minutes of the program. The text message is, good evening, Mr. Nadir. Long live Dr. Jaglia for his fight for Guyana. I'll continue that after this call. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good evening, Mr. Matur. Go ahead. Good evening. Uh, yeah, you expire too. Okay. Good. Thank you for now. Thank you very much. That's all. Good. Okay, good. So, of the view that we've had two expired politicians. So, let me go back to this what's up message. The whole problem is uh, most all the organizations in Guyana are heavily influenced by this government. So, no one is calling them out. That's why they're hanging on in office. Example, the mayor was recently running around protesting for house house registration. Why you not do the same? They have remove the illegal government. That's one, right? I was reading this one earlier, good night. The whole problem is, sorry, not that one. Oh, come on. Um, a lot of people suddenly, that's an old one. Good night, sir. Long live Dr. Jagdio. Yes, that was the one. Yes, the list has expired on April 21st, but everyone seemed to be missing. The biggest picture of all, the government also expired on March 31st. Another one here. Mr. Nadir, why are you saying, why are you saying President Jack Deer? Well, we've gone through that before, right? I will say President Sam Hines. I will say President Donald Ramatar, good. And I will say President Granger when he's no longer president, good. Mr. Nadir, I want to say thank you to the CCJ for the patience and fair justice we as Guyanese should be embarrassed to have judges to teach us how to live according to our constitution and still not following the laws of this country. Our constitution is being trampled upon. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hi, good night, sir. Good evening. Um, why is it I'm not hearing they have a nationalist where they extract the voters list from the nationalists. Why are we not hearing this? Mm -hmm. You only hear about the voters list there. The nationalist does not expire. And we take the voters list from the nationalists. Why are we not hearing this? Beautiful. Beautiful. Why are we not hearing this? It's called you and saying it's a fooling people. Okay, hold on a second. Let me just give you a little um it's the national register of registrants. Yes. And every person as of the 14. 14. So what happens in order to get a live list, you extract, let's say you GCOM decides a qualifying date will be August the 31st. Yeah. They extract everybody from that and there is your preliminary list, yeah. a live list. Yeah, and here, listen, who, what is GCOM doing from the, la the local government election? Mm -hmm. Who pay these people? What job they are doing from then? We just have to continue registration, claims and objections. What job they are doing to get salaries? Mm -hmm. Every they have hundreds of people work with them. How, wh 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 they drive money at the past pretense. Mm -hmm. All these people. Mm -hmm. Okay. They do nothing. Thanks a lot. Yeah. I think everybody knows what happened since December the twenty-first. 2018, where GCOM is concerned. Hi, good evening. You're on the air. Hey, friend. Good evening. How are you? Quite well. And yourself? OK. 
appreciate everything. Thank you. Well, no bars, yo. Keeping it healthy. <coughs> no, my contribution is. Go ahead. You know, the constitution of Guyana is of the greatest importance. Mm -hmm. All right, if you agree. Agree. Okay, good. And the constitution needs should be upheld by politicians and so forth. Agreed. Okay, so the big deal right now mm -hmm. is that the constitution is not being adhered to, it's not being upheld. But what I wish to say, mm -hmm. for example, our former President Barack Obama, mm -hmm. when he was president, okay, he violated our con the constitution of Guyana mm -hmm. by trying desperately to have a third term. This other important thing, uh, local government election weren't held. It's a violation of the constitution. My mm -hmm. concern is. What is good for the goose is also good for the ganga. Mm -hmm. And I am very, very much concerned mm -hmm. what the future of Guyana holds, mm -hmm. with the politicians we have in this country. Because we know for sure, we could all remember what mm -hmm. happened during the time of the PPP reign led by Jack. We know what this country, this country went down ill, you know. mm -hmm. And this, you no, know, let us face the facts and accept it for what it is. Mm -hmm. and I am one citizen, like many other citizens, is very, very concerned. Should we have a change of government? We know, for example, citizens of the United States of America were being kidnapped in this country. Mm -hmm. High news were being sold out like a cake every day because they were being killed every day. Then mm -hmm. we had the extrajudicial killing. Then we had the cartel trade that, you know, kick up a storm in this country. Mm -hmm. Mr. Nadir, come on. We cannot afford this kind of thing in this country no more. Mm -hmm. We can't afford it no more. And I don't understand why today is a big cry about the constitution not being upheld. And in the previous administration, we see what Chuck Dio is doing. So two wrongs make a right. Thank you very much. Good. So, um, so if it was wrong to trample on the constitution before, is it right now to do the same? I don't agree with you. Hi, good evening. You're on the air, and I may have to take you as the final caller tonight. Go ahead. Sorry, well, give another person a chance. Hi, good evening. You're Hi, on the good evening, Mr. Nair. Okay, good evening. Uh, that, that guy was speaking about uh, if they drop the carters on the jack view and all mm -hmm. these atrocities on the jack view. Go ahead. But he's not mentioning the March Day jailbreak, who mm -hmm. was behind that. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about the Buxton uprising, mm -hmm. where these criminals were hiding out, who was mm -hmm. behind that, right? He mm -hmm. claimed that this whole crime wave mm -hmm. was Jack Dio under Jack Dio control, but they were gangs fighting against each other. So mm -hmm. Mr. Jack Dio is this big mastermind between these two gangs. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all. Thank you. And um, short and sweet. Here's another short and sweet one. Elections now. These people need to stop dreaming. Call elections is the only way forward. We just can't be stuck with leaders who think they have to interpret simple sentences. Some callers have some good points, and some of them are, in my view, delusional. That's a great program tonight. Good exchange, and I want to thank, on behalf of Kevin, the directors of MTV, all of us who do the hard work in getting this program organized every week and to all of you who have shared your views listen watch and are now thinking about your dear country so thanks to all of you and from all of us here you have a great last 30 minutes of july 12 2019 thank you and good night